While working on step bolts and speed bolts this morning, I came up with a quick tweak to the drill itself or the practice that will help you solidify your technique and kind of remove the extra little complication of actually having to worry about your footwork and your approach and distancing and all that. So if you haven't practiced step bolts or speed bolts before, you can check the description below and there will be tutorials for that. Now with that said, the idea here is that like I said, traditionally when you're practicing any vault pretty much, you're approaching it at a run or at least have a bit of momentum going. So like this. <laughs> With that in mind, that's great, but the whole footwork and takeoff stuff can complicate it a little bit and it'll, if we take that out, you'll actually be able to focus a little bit more on the technique and just getting the height and the foot placement on top of the obstacle right and also work on making it a little quieter. So with all that said, what we're doing today is just instead of doing all these at a run, you can approach them at a walk. Or you can just start right in front of the obstacle if you prefer. Uh, the walk helps a little bit though, so you still have your foot placement practice. So with that in mind, this is just progression like normal. So if you want to, you start with the two hand step vault and then you progress from there. So for two hand it looked kind of like this. And once that's feeling pretty good, start doing the same thing, but one hand. I keep saying hand, but as you keep practicing this, you'll get a feel for how much distance you need between you and the obstacle to safely clear your knee, and how much power you need to generate to get that other foot on top and clear over nice and clean and have a nice quiet landing. For speed vaults though, there's a little bit of a difference in technique because your goal with a speed vault isn't just to clear over and do the step through technique. It's to actually pull both your legs to the side so that they're practically parallel with the ground. With that in mind, there's not that much different, it's just that you're gonna to have to think about pushing a lot harder off of that last step that you take before you do the vault. So in this case, normal speed vault looks kinda of like this. And of course, that's the good pretty side. We'll look at the other one in a sec. But, as you see, legs go to the side. So same thing, but you're doing this at a walk. And you can put your foot, tap your foot on top first, and maybe if you're getting good at it, you can start not tapping your foot. So. And then not tapping your foot. Offside still needs work. That's pretty much it. Just for once you practice those a bit, you can go back to actually doing the full vault with the run, and you should see that your technique is a little smoother and more consistent afterwards. That's that's it. So have fun, and I'll see you again later.